NBC 5 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner is live at the school with a look ahead to tonight's big STEM fair. And it is really filling in behind you, Tom. It was pretty empty about 40 minutes ago, but the kids are arriving, aren't they? Oh, they were probably watching on TV at 5 o'clock, said, hey, we got to get over there. Or maybe it's because it starts at 6. That might have something to do with it. This is going to be a big night, it really is. As probably everybody knows at this point, we have an initiative at NBC5, math plus science equals success. And this ties in perfectly. It's a global studies STEM fair happening here. So we've got kids from ninth grade right up to seniors. We've got a couple of seniors that I want you to meet. Abby is with me right now, and you guys have worked on a heck of a project, and uh, this is a capstone project, right? Tell me what that is first. So a capstone project is really kind of an accumulative project for all the studies you've do, done all throughout high school. So it encompasses earth science, bio, chemistry, as well as history, English, everything you think about, and just applying these sciences and studies um, towards a project that really is something you care about. So for myself, I chose type 1 diabetes as a type 1 diabetic, oh. and it's global application and how supplies are inaccessible to a lot of different places. So I was able to take this, um, make a whole project out of it, and like look towards solutions and possibly um, bringing back some impact to my own community. So that was really cool to see how everything I've learned my last four years in school have really come to this. So what, what did you draw as conclusions from the whole thing, and where do you see you know, this whole thing going with diabetes. What, what did you learn? So I learned that um, even in the United States where healthcare is pretty, uh, we have some of the greatest like access to supplies. There's still things that need to be done. Um, as a senior, or hopefully going to college next year, I hope to be able to take global health as um, a study of mine and be able to look at solutions like I've seen so far, work with the United Nations, work with a bunch of different um, avenues to develop uh, more succinct plans to addressing this issue worldwide. That's fantastic. Congratulations. By the way, I know you're set for school next year, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Full ride to George Mason University and oh. the University Scholars Program, so all set. Congratulations. Thank wow. You. Smart one there. Let's come on over and say hi to Trey. How are you? Good. What was your project? Uh, I did my capstone project on if humans are truly the world's greatest athletes. Hmm. What did we learn here? Uh, I basically learned that humans weren't exactly designed to be the best athletes in the world. Really? Yeah. Um, we were actually meant to be a prey species, but because of our brains, we were able to evolve and develop because of natural selection um, and become what we are today. But in fact, like the cheetah or the great white shark, for example, um, they were built on speed so that they could survive. So how did you know? How did you discover all this? Because uh, it sounds like you're pretty definitive about this. How do you, how did you find that out? Yeah. So ever since I was three, I would always play with stuffed animals or figurine animals, and I realized that I wanted to be a veterinarian. So that's kind of how I based my capstone project, which is one great thing that Rutland offers is you're allowed to base your capstone project on whatever you're interested in. That is fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank I you. know you're going to go to school somewhere next year, right? Yes. Excellent. Correct. All right. Great to meet you guys. Nice really looking forward to walking all over here and this is actually just part of what's happening here at the STEM fair that's going to be going on. It happens if you're in town and you want to check it out from six o'clock until eight o'clock tonight. Meanwhile, right here on NBC5, we'll show you in just a few minutes, but in the meantime, I know a lot of folks wondering about the weather. The weekend is right around the corner and Tyler Jankowski is back at the TV station. Tyler, give us some good news, will you? Well, we do have good news. We don't have a major storm to track here in the next five days and boy,